the second part regards to are there descendants of Christopher Columbus in Puerto Rico? I'm going to look on my computer here and we're going to talk about a branch of the family that does have historical document proof of it. And here we go. So, if you remember your Puerto Rican history, the village of Arecibo is known as Alvia the Arecibo as well as Alvia the Captain Correa. Captain Correa was born in Puerto Rico about 1665. His full name was Don Antonio de los Reyes Correa y Rodriguez. His wife was Doña Estefania Rodriguez de Matos. She was the legitimate daughter of Captain Nicolas Rodriguez de Matos II and Doña Maria Colón de Leandro. And what's so important about Captain Correa? Captain Correa saved the town of Arecibo in 1704, I believe, of a British invasion or English invasion. Him and several um, military members who were redeemed as heroes saved the town of Arecibo as well as an invasion of Puerto, northern Puerto Rico. Arecibo is about 25 miles northwest or west northwest of San Juan. It's a very important town today. Today they have the Arecibo uh, satellite that NASA put up many years ago, but it's also a beautiful town. Regards to Captain Correa and his wife. His wife, which I talked about the other video, part one was Estefania Rodriguez de Matos, and their daughter Francisca de los Reyes Correa E. Rodriguez de Matos married her third cousin, Juan Blas Sanchez de Matos y Colón, in August 24, 1717, in San Felipe Cathedral near Cebo. He was the legitimate son of Captain Don Pedro Sanchez de Matos, the first mayor of founding father of Ponce, Puerto Rico, I believe in 1688, and his third wife, crazy, he had a third wife, Dani Maria Colón. Why is that so important? It's because Juan Blas Sanchez de Matos y Colón, his brother, who was a priest, who's named, um, was, excuse me, was Juan Lorenzo Sanchez de Matos, who was born about 1700 in San Roman. In 1730, he de declared himself a descendant of Christopher Columbus and his family in a document, as well as a descendant of the El Italo Don Pedro de Alvarado, which I mentioned in the video previously. Juan Lorenzo de Sanchez de Matos, I found in a document in 1730, AGI Infidente 22, numero 79, states, according to his merits and services, Juan Lorenzo de Matos, I believe it's a 13 page, states that he was the descendant of Christopher Columbus, Christopher Columbus's family, meaning he was descendant of, the, of uh, Christopher Columbus' uh, children, or his son and his son's family, Diego Colón and his wife, Maria de Toledo, the niece of the second Duke of Elba, I believe, or first Duke of Elba, excuse me. Um, Juan Lorenzo de Matos, Sanchez de Matos, sorry. Juan Lorenzo Sanchez de Matos declared himself that, and it was approved by the Spanish um, local religious leaders a lot of uh, signatures were on it and people that testified for his behalf, stating that he was a good person and of a person of European descent. He did not have any traits of mulatto or African or Arab or converso Jewish ancestry. Basically, they were trying to cleanse himself so they won't have the Spanish Inquisition against them. That can happen even with a priest, believe it or not. But Juan Lorenzo Sanchez de Matos declared himself and his family descendants of Christopher Columbus. Interesting enough, I'm a descendant of his brothers, Juan Blas Sanchez de Matos y Colón and Balthazar Callezo. So th there goes the second video. I thought it was important to, sh to talk about that. Um, regards to who is Maria Colón's parents, we don't know. Um, I have some several ideas. I know she's the granddaughter 
two, one, Colón de Leandro, Catalana de Alvarado de Espinosa. But we're missing a generation. Um, I know of several sons, but I'm not going to go and plug it in just to uh, please my fancy or please someone else's fancy. I think what we would need to do is go to the archives in Spain and Puerto Rico to find who are the parents of Maria Colón de Leandro, perhaps even a sister, a witness, someone of that magnitude. Excuse me. <laughs> um, lunch, I guess, didn't go too good for me. But anyways, uh, sorry about that. Um, anyways, regards to Maria Colón and Pedro Sánchez de Montes. Uh, Pedro Sánchez de Montes was Portuguese. Why is that so important? Is because Pedro Sánchez de Montes' son married a descendant of Portuguese ancestry. Uh, Francisca uh, de los Reyes Correa y Rodriguez de Matos, her maternal grandparents were from Portugal. And um, her maternal grandmother was the descendant of Christopher Columbus. If you know anything about Christopher Columbus, his wife and his son was born in Portugal. Uh, his wife did have several Italian ancestors. She, she was half Italian. But an important part is to show and prove the Portuguese connections of marrying each other in Puerto Rico. It was also common in other colonies in the New World, as well as Mexico. I've noticed that. Um, and if you have any time, look up on uh, Google search, Francisca, uh, oh, excuse me, not Francisca, yes, um, um, Francisco Rodriguez de Matos. Him and his whole family were were burned due to them confessing that they were conversos. I would presume and strongly indicate that Francisco Rodriguez de Matos is an ancestor to Estefania Rodriguez de Matos. They died December 4, 1590. They only had a little boy who was a 15 years old named Miguel who ran away with his cousin. His cousin was captured, but Miguel was never found again. I believe Miguel Rodriguez de Matos is the ancestor to the Rodriguez de Matos family in Arecibo and Atuado at Juntas and other towns, as well as Captain Correa's uh, wife's ancestor, Estefania Rodriguez de Matos. So if you like this video, put a thumbs up, subscribe, please. You know, I need all the subscribers I need. I'm trying to gain 10,000. I should have said that again in the, in the beginning of the video. I guess that's what I get. <laughs> you know, it's not easy to record being in front of the camera. I'm getting better. But, um, you know, for those that want to contact me, simply email me at brandontheharchivist at gmail.com or brandonsinovel, S-Z-I-N-A-V-E-L, at gmail.com. You can also reach me through Instagram at brandontheharchivist. I hopefully everyone's having a good day today and learn about your genealogy regardless of what nationality you are. Okay, have a good one. Bye-bye.